Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this is A Shaft Upon the Mountain by Frater Fred C. Bond, FRC. An article taken from Rosicrucian Digest, Volume 16, Number 4, May 1938. A Shaft Upon the Mountain by Frater Fred C. Bond, FRC. Truth is like a great shaft rising from the mist of a mountain peak and bearing a light. Those who dwell on the plain can catch the sheen of its snowy splendor as the clouds shift and sway, but no man has ever beheld its whole. Some have journeyed up the mountain to its base and have known it better, then returned and told their fellows where to look and from what point on the plain, but few cared to see and few raised their eyes except when needing justification. Then they called it good or evil, great or small, according to where they dwell, and ever after remembered this site as authority. These stored up glimpses were compiled and became the law by which man lived, for it was easier to sight than to rise the eyes upward to the silent majesty. Few knew that every shadow or ray of light which fell across their past had its source in the shaft and that every thought which reached their minds was reflected from there. As generation followed generation, the great light became a legend, and the law the reality. The mist about the shaft deepened when men said that it could not be seen. The law was increased by speculation and expediency, and the rule was that of authority. Those who sought the light rather than the law were jeered at and punished by their fellows. For it was held impossible that men should see the light since ancient times. Wondrous devices for work and for study were made from the imagination of men and the things on the plain. But with each new discovery, the shaft seemed to draw further away and the mist to be more confusing. Imagination could reach towards the light, but things could not. So most of the devices were turned downward to work on other things, and imagination followed them. Wars and conflicts came increasingly, and men suffered sore. They searched the law again and again, but found not there the answer they sought, and the suffering increased in the grip of selfishness. So continues the shaft above and men below, and they that search for the light are few. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.